Uh, today we're going to be fit in the kitchen. Uh, we're just going to talk you through what to do, how to start. First of all, you want to obviously get all your electrics in first, check the plumbing's all in the right places. And then what I like to do after is run a straight line round so you know what, what the height of the unit's going to be. Um, I've determined that height. I've measured what the plimps are. The plimps are 150, so I've allowed 10 mil for the floor in. And then kind of, yeah, gone off that height, set that all round. So now we're just going to mark out on the wall where each unit's going to go. And then we're going to start leveling them in. Next, first thing we want to do, obviously, get the units. We're going to put the feet on. So you screw these, screw these little bits down. It's quite easy to do. You get your feet in there. Get them all in. And I know roughly, because I measured earlier, the floor's quite level, but these feet want to be up about 160. So before you put it in, it makes it a little bit easier if you get them roughly in place, so you don't have to bend down as much. Get them up to roughly where we want it. And then, jobs are good. So here we are, we've kind of got the units all kind of in place. The good thing about these kitchens, gallery, everything's already on there. So I don't have to, sh no hinges. I don't have to put any of them on there. The drawers are already on. Carousels. I can send a link to the company if anyone uh, is interested, but they're really good quality, thick doors. So literally what I've done is we've just got everything kind of set up. I haven't screwed anything yet. I just wanted to make sure it's all gonna work and all gonna fit and everything's correct, and nothing's damaged. So now we're gonna start, um, yeah, leveling them up to that line what I pinged up earlier. And yeah, go from there. We've got, we've got the um, integrated dishwasher just in place as well so we can work out where that's going. And we've got our corner fillets, these corners. I think the best way to do that is screw them together and that slot straight in there. So yeah, coming along. Okay, so obviously they're all in like I showed you a minute ago. And when you start, you want to start from a corner really. So I'm going to get my corner piece made up, get that screwed on there, and then work that way, get them all in that way, and then work this way, and then round there. Yes, yeah, so it should be pretty straightforward. So here we go. So we're getting there now, We've, all the units are all in, screwed with the well brackets all the way around, all leveled round. We've got these ones in as well around here. I've started making a little bespoke cupboard here for the um, washing machine, but one of the doors isn't right. So leaving that for now. So now we're going to jump on the end panels. I'm going to get on these now and get on this big one first and then we'll do the little ones. So that's almost it for today. We've got the end panels on. End panel on there, that one on there. Um, just about to put this one on. I'm just going to show you the best way to kind of mark it up, really. Before the worktops go on, if you get your end panel, and literally just put it up to where you want it, height wise. And then if you mark across, pencil line there, and then take it to your saw and cut it off. If you're using a chop saw, probably want to do it upside down. Or if you've got a plunge saw, 
and just go for it. So yeah, so that's that. We're gonna screw that on now. Four screws. One, two, three, four. And that's that for day one. Tomorrow, wall units. Uh, fridge freezer, microwave are going, plimps on. Yeah, that's it for day one. Hope you liked it so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much appreciated. And everyone who has subscribed, thank you very much. Much appreciated. So yeah, back tomorrow. Welcome back. This is day two of the kitchen. So I'm going to get the uh, wall units up now just to get them out of the way. I haven't done the uh, appliances yet, but I just want to get these wall units out of the way. So they're all the same size as the, the units below. So it makes it quite straightforward. I've just kind of figured out where the brackets go. I've just leveled straight up and all of them. So I know exactly where the brackets are going. Um, set the height of the extractor. There's regs, certain regs for um, gas hob or electric hob. Well, you need to bear in mind, between 650 and 750, but you want to check check when you're doing it, your eggs, the what, uh, hob you've got. So yeah, just going to get all the brackets on there now, and then hook these straight on. If you come around here, I'll show you. Come around and have a look at these. So these are the little hooks for the, the wall brackets. And then, so yeah, these are, the, these are the wall brackets, which hold the units up. They just kind of go in there like that. So you want to measure down about 25 mil and screw them on there. They're all adjustable from the inside. So once it's on the wall, if we need to do slight adjustment, we can do from in, in there. So yeah, I'm going to get these all up. Marked up. Marked them all up all the way along. Um, yeah, because I'm going to start drilling now. To be honest, I'll probably do one, get it on there, make sure they're right before I do the lot, just in case. Yeah, that's that. Let me get that on there. So yeah, it's all set up, got my drill bit. Obviously you wanna be careful when you are drilling. Single skin walls. So I put a little marker on the drill bit so I don't end up going through to the customer's lounge, hitting her on the head. So yeah, here we go. just so that sink kind of sits in there nicely. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna get that, gonna need a jigsaw, and yeah, you probably just do it with a jigsaw if you like. I'm gonna use a plungy as well, it's less dust. But yeah, we'll get cracking on that. She's in. 
get the level. You can see now that's just it's flush on there. Flush, flush, flush. So that's all ready for the, uh, the templates now. I'm just going to drill a hole out for the, for the tap. And that's that. So I'll show you what I've done. It's not the prettiest bit of routing I've done, but you can see, just have to route at the edge. That bit there and along there. If you haven't got a route, I'm sure you could just use a skill saw and just go through it a few times or, yeah. That worked out all right. So on to the hob next. So I've just taped all that back up now. So that's all ready for the templators. That's all done. Gonna do that shortly, this dishwasher front. But now I'm just on this hob, so it's pretty easy. So it comes with the guide for the sizes. I always double check it, don't just go off of this. It also says down here as well what the minimum heights are because it's a gas hob, it's got to be a minimum 650 to the extractor and 430 to the wall unit there, it's saying so. Yeah, so we've got that. So literally, I'm just gonna cut this out here and then that'll be it, ready for the template. So nothing too exciting to show you on that bit. Yeah, so let's get it done. So we got the dishwasher in. I didn't film that bit. It was quite um, straightforward anyway. And it came with a template. It's just two brackets down there. And then literally one, two, three screws either side. I'm gonna have to take this off again because I haven't put the knob on it. We haven't actually got the knobs yet. So obviously on this, before you put your door on, really you want to put your knob on first, but I haven't got it. So now we're going to come over here and do this um, fridge freezer. Um, it's actually opening the wrong way. So I'm going to see if I can flip it, or see if I can do something with it and then get cracking on this. Cool. So we're just getting set up now. Something I forgot to do beforehand. Um, in this tall unit, it's got this piece of timber at the back, which is going to stop the fridge going in. So ideally you'll take that off first, but I haven't, so I'm literally going to cut it out now, get it out of the way. But yeah, it's always good to check that before you built it. But um, yeah, so it'll be alright, we'll cut it out, it'll be alright on the night. Okay, so now we've got it, we've managed to get the doors flipped round. Um, it's quite easy to do, to be honest. They're all gone round now, and I've just put all the clips on. Uh, I've gone for the this is, I haven't done this one before, but I've read the instructions. It's pretty simple. I've got all these on there. I'm actually jack it up a little bit just because we've got a half height door. Put an extra piece in there, but it's pretty solid now. So tomorrow, I'm going to take these bits off and get the doors on. So that's it for today. So tomorrow should be the finale, hopefully, for us. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe as you're watching this video. Press the button. Nice one. Thank you. That's it. We're back again. So it's day three now of the kitchen fit. Um, so it's Friday. So, yeah. So it's actually day three of the kitchen fit. But I think they started on Tuesday ripping out and doing the plumbing and electrics. So it's actually the fourth day. But the third day I've been here. So, yeah. So where I left off yesterday getting all these brackets on for the fridge and the freezer. So now I'm gonna take these, well, measure up, mark up where these brackets go onto the door, and then, um, yeah, go from there. So, just gonna check, so got one door gonna go on. Up to that line there, and then one above. So, I'm doing the marking out now, and, So there we have it, it's all on now. Obviously I've got to take it all back off again to put the, uh, put the So obviously that was the last kind of major bit for me to do. So now I'm gonna start on the cornies. 
which goes on the top, and then the plimps for the bottom, and the little fillet piece to go in there. I've actually supplied a fillet to go in there. Just needs cutting down on the end there. So get that one in first, and then I'm gonna start, get this little section done, and then I'm gonna work my way around doing the plimps and the cornices. So yeah, you're probably gonna need, the best thing for this is a chop saw, really, with a decent blade for doing all your cuts. Um, yeah, if not old school saw and mitre box, I suppose. But yeah, here we go. So yeah, that's it for me for a little while now. The uh, templators are in. Um, what are you called? Sussex Stone? That's right. Sussex Stone and Ceramics. Yeah, nice and local company coming in to do the uh, templating today. So I'm going to let them do that and then I'm going to carry on doing the plimps. Here we go then. So, nice and easy with plinths. Cut the plinth to length, put it in position, get the clips. Got three clips there, plenty. Now, literally, I'm just going to put a mark. So, I want one clip there, one clip there, one clip there. And it's easy as getting the bits off, get a middle one. Two, three, screw them on. Some little screws, obviously. Wham, bam, thank you. Wham. I get floor, I'll probably cut them down again. To get them off, there's no real easy way, but I'm lucky I've got some suckers, so I can literally. Get my suckers on there, put them off easy, just like that. So I might leave that for the electrician so he can pop them off. I might not. So that's like the plinth done. If you can see that, see this section here is done. So yeah, I'm just gonna work around now, getting all the little bits and pieces done. The extractor's gonna get cut in here. But I haven't actually got that either, so that won't be getting done today. But I'll get them cornices on and bits and pieces on. Nice. Just want to show you doing this. Obviously, I've got a corner here. Got to put a corner fillet in. So just want to show you how I do it. There's obviously different ways of doing it. Um, <clears throat> so I've screwed a bit of wood to the back first. I mean, I could have screwed it to this first, but I've just done it. Screwed that to there, through there. And now literally... <clears throat> I mean, you can come down and finish it there and then scribe your plimp around the skirting, but I'm gonna do it so it's easier to get the plimp off. So I'm gonna pop that piece in there, like that, and then do a little return going that way and then the plimp will start from here going that way so it doesn't interfere with the skirting and it doesn't look messy. So yeah, that's that. I'm literally just gonna stick that on there um, and yeah, that'd be that for that bit, and then I'll get that on there. So here we have it. She's all done now, just needs a splash back. I've just done some easy filling all around the edges. We thought it was going to be an up stand, but it wasn't. Got a nice up stand there, though. You can see that, and on the top there, got the grooves for the water. So yeah, we've got some lights underneath. I mean, I'll go for LEDs as well underneath the uh, plimps, but they're waiting for the flooring to be done first. So yeah, I hope you liked it. That's it, another one down. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, just comment below. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this one. If you want to like and subscribe, click down here to subscribe. Click up there to watch your next video. Could work. Yeah, see you on the next one, guys. Thank you. Thank you.